Hi everyone, another two box break of these autographed mini helmets by TriStar, I love these. This is random division break number nine. The last two box of the case, that break is in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you missed out, go visit jazbeeshobbyland.com anyway, there's always fun stuff like this on the website. All right, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. This is break number nine, let's randomize each list. Two and a two, four times, four the hard way. One, two, three, and four. Jeff, down to Regimel. Two and a two, four times for the divisions. One, two, three, and four. AFC South, down to NFC South. There we go, there we go. And here's what we got, Jeff, you have the AFC South. Fidel, AFC North. Greg, AFC West. Nick with the AF NFC West. Mike, you have the NFC East. Robert with the AFC East. Jim Murray, uh, Last Spot Mojo, NFC North. And Regimel with the NFC South. Let's alphabetize by division. Any trades? I don't think there's any trades in this, but we'll give it a couple seconds. I don't think I see anyone talking trades. All right, we'll just close up the trade window. I have not seen any trades. TWC, trade window closed. Bam. All right, good luck on this one, boys and girls. Once again, I am contractually obligated to say that uh, the college rules apply. So if you see players in their non-pro uniforms, if they are... If they're active, they'll go to the team they're currently on. Like Deshaun Watson will obviously go to the Texans. If they're inactive, if they're Hall of Fame, old school guys, retired players, then they'll go to the team they played for the longest, according to ProFootballReference.com. Going by seasons first and games as a tiebreaker. Game started as another tiebreaker. What is this? What do we have here? Who is this guy? Oh, I'm glad I explained this because this guy has a college helmet on. Where's the... The card. Oh, there's the card. Okay. College football helmet. College football Hall of Fame in 1988. 1967 Heisman Trophy winner. A first round draft pick in 1968. The team? The college team? UCLA. Starting quarterback for three seasons 1965, 1967. 23, 5, and 2. In his career at UCLA. Fight, fight, fight. I'm a UCLA fan. This guy's an old school guy. And there's only one pro team that he played for. Just a couple seasons, but a college football legend. Thankfully, it's in his in his uh, college football gear. Any guesses? Or any Googled? Anyone Googled it really quick? It's Gary Beban. Also a Heisman Trophy winner in the Football Hall of Fame. First round draft pick for the Rams and then got traded to the Redskins. Only played a couple seasons though. Redskins, 68 and 69. There you go. There's the UCLA look right there. Nice, and there he is. There's his autograph, nice. So that goes to the NFC East, Mike Koontz with that one. There you go. Who was that? Gary Beaven. You say starting quarterback back in the mid-60s. All right, so Mike has an NFC East. That will be going to you. you know, write that down on this. Thanks, Mike K. All right. Next one. All right. Who am I? I'm a Pro Football Hall of Famer in 2006. I'm in this team's ring of honor in 2004. 
I'm part of the NFL 1970s All-Decade Team. I'm a two-time Super Bowl champ. I'm a six-time Pro Bowl selection. I'm a four-time first-team All-Pro. In the early 70s, I was the NFLPA NFC Offensive Lineman of the Year. Jay Cutler. Part of the NFL 1970s All-Decade <laughs> Team. Not Jay Cutler. Another old-school guy here. Any guesses? He was the 1972 NFLPA NFC Offensive Lineman of the Year, part of the NFL 1970s All-Decade Team, and part of whose Ring of Honor in 2004? The Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor in 2004. Hall of Famer in 2006, Rayfield Wright. There you go, Nick, Wright. Wright, Wright. And his Dallas Cowboys helmet right there. There is his autograph. It's another one, yes, another one for the NFC East. And there you go, Mike Koontz, another mini helmet coming your way, another old school guy for your helmet right there. And there it is. We've got two more boxes left from the case. It's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's finish it off. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.